alone. It was Paris. Hey guys, I know this video is going to be unpopular opinion again and I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it because I wish, I wish I was popular opinion and I'm not. I'm in the minority. I'm in the minority and I've got to be honest though with you guys, I truly do. I wasn't going to mention Harrison tonight. I thought, no, if I don't mention Harrison, you guys won't hate me. <laughs> but I thought, I have to be honest. Now remember, Melinda was my favourite and has been my favourite from day dot. But tonight, I didn't like Melinda at all. And you're not supporting me, your partner. Being put on the spot is something I'm not comfortable with. You're impossible. You're actually acting like a Harrison right now. I didn't like the way that she treated Harrison. I know. I know. And I didn't like the way that she treated Leighton. And I didn't like the fact that she didn't get her own way. So she threw the card of, you're acting just like Harrison now. Or you're turning into Harrison. Whatever she said. I didn't like it. The only reason she threw that comment is because she wanted her own way. She really did. And I didn't respect that at all because, goddamn Leighton. Tonight, he was beautiful. I finally saw Leighton stand up and have a backbone. And I loved it. I love seeing your moral value system, Leighton. I have a lot of respect for you and I find you very attractive now, like very, very attractive. But I'm not gonna move and in I with another I love the fact that you stood up for yourself and didn't back down. You didn't ask Melinda not to participate in the experiment. You didn't ask that from her. You just said, I didn't feel comfortable with my moral value system to go into a room of another wife. And Melinda should have respected him and said, that is so nice of you. I really respect that. And it should have made her feel really good about herself. But instead, she had to argue the point. Harrison. Oh, I'm staying out of this one. Why are you bringing Harrison into this? Because, because you're telling me I don't support hey, hey, you hey, when hey, I've hey, been here the whole time no. support. And she had to prove Harrison to be right. That they're always arguing because they are always arguing. But hey, I better not mention that. We better not make Harrison right because everyone's got to hate Harrison. And I don't. I know Harrison is playing a game in there. I know it. I've accepted it. I've accepted Harrison and Bronte playing games. I'm just enjoying the ride for what it is. I know he's not really into Bronte. I know Bronte isn't into Harrison. I know all that. I've heard all the recordings and whatnot. And I've accepted it now. I'm not going to hate him because he's playing a game. I'm not going to hate him. Why? Because he's not being horrible to anyone. He's not. He isn't. And I know you guys are going to come at me and say, he's horrible, he's a pig, whatever. I know. I know he wasn't great at the start. I get that. I truly do. But... G's been copping a lot ever since the start. A hell of a lot. Everyone's throwing their dirt onto Harrison. And thank God Harrison has big shoulders to carry it. Because if he didn't, I'd be standing up for him. But I know he's got this and I know he can cope with all this crap. I know he can. So I don't need to carry him. I don't know what else to say. I truly don't. I just didn't like the way Melinda was tonight. I loved Leighton. Leighton is my number one guy now. He's my number one guy. I always thought he was pretty cool, but I didn't know much about him. But tonight I saw his moral value system and I loved it. I truly loved it. Now let's talk about Alyssa Duncan. I know, I know Alyssa is driving Duncan to the brink of tears. And I feel so sorry for Duncan. I truly do. You're going to hate me here. You're going to hate me here because I know you all hate Alyssa. But I feel sorry for her. And I'm not just sitting up for the men, so there you go. I feel sorry for Alyssa. The reason why I feel sorry for her is I don't feel she communicates properly at all. I don't. But we're all asking for something real in this experiment, and I feel Alyssa is being real. We've all wanted real. We hate the fact that Harrison's playing games. I don't like the fact that Harrison's playing games. I've just accepted it. If Harrison was manipulating Bronte, and Bronte wasn't in on the game, then I'd feel sorry for Bronte. I would, but I don't, because I know they're both in on it. But Alyssa, she's really there with a hand and heart. And I feel sorry for her. I know she shouldn't be in this experiment. She shouldn't be there. Because this girl doesn't know if she's coming or going. And the only reason she fell underwater when she started to have feelings for Duncan. That's when she fell underwater. Before that, she was cool. She was fine. But she's starting to really like Duncan. And Duncan, you're going to hate this, guys. You're going to hate it. I'm scared to say it. I'm scared to say it. You guys are going to all unsubscribe. And I've just got to wear it on the chin. But I feel like Duncan isn't strong enough for Alyssa. I know. The reason being is I feel Duncan could say to Alyssa, look, I know you have a child and I want to get to know your child. Tell me about your son. Tell me what hobbies he's into and maybe we could get along on the outside world. He's not having those big talks that maybe might appeal to Alyssa. He's not saying, hey, enough of the tears. Enough. Stop them. I'm here for the right reasons. I'm here for you and I want to get to know your son. Stop the crap. She needs to hear that. Maybe. Maybe she is over emotional. Maybe she is over the top. I don't know. I don't know if she really is over the top. I'm just taking a step back and thinking maybe, maybe she really is worried. Maybe she is really insecure. And maybe she's scared. Because I know that I don't react properly when I'm scared. I act stupid when I'm scared. 
I'm really stupid. I'm really embarrassing when I'm scared, like really embarrassing. So I'm putting myself in her shoes. And she said she's never had a relationship since she's had a child besides her husband that she was with. So I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like she needs someone to grab her by the shirt and say, Alyssa, wake up to yourself. I'm here in this experiment for you. I've shown you all the signs that I'm here for you. Now tell me about your son because I want to know everything about your son. Doing those photos was stupid. It was so stupid. I feel like Duncan might be a yes man. And that could be the problem. That could be the problem. You can't be a yes man either. You've got to show strength for your partner. Whether you're a girl or a guy, you've got to show strength. And Alyssa isn't showing strength for Duncan, and Duncan isn't showing strength for Alyssa. And I feel like Alyssa shouldn't be there. She needs to go back to her son. She'll feel a lot more happy. And maybe we're seeing things we're not seeing behind the scenes. Am I feeling sorry for Duncan? Yeah, I am. I hated seeing him cry. I truly hate seeing anyone cry, and his tears were real. So I respected that, and I felt sorry for him, and a lot of empathy for him. Alyssa, you've got a good guy here. But for some reason, you're not accepting it into your life. And I feel for you, you're showing yourself as being real and honest and vulnerable. And that's what we've been asking on the show. We don't like the fact that Harrison isn't real. We don't like it at all. Now here's Alyssa, she's being real. Yeah, she's acting a bit manic. She's acting over the top, but hell, she's being real. <sighs> I don't know guys, I'm gonna go check my subscribers right now because I feel like you're gonna all unsubscribe from me because I have my opinion and I know people don't like people with differing opinion these days. But I've got to be honest as well. Guys, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Actually acting like a Harrison right now. 